Next on This Week in Agribusiness, it's Max's Tractor Shed, where we spotlight another great American farm tractor. Being the purest that I am with the old tractors, I've often argued, don't mess with it. Don't come up with some kind of a strange color. Don't add all kinds of attachments to it. However, when you stop to think about it, since the beginning of time, farmers have added parts or made changes to their tractors to make them even better than when they came out of the plant. I'll show you an example in Max's Tractor Shed, brought to you by Mystic Lubricants. Mystic Lubricants producers are made to make it last. Many times when you're walking around old tractors at a show, you'll see a lever, you'll say, what was that for? Or maybe some holes that have been drilled where it doesn't appear they should be, and you'll wonder, what did the farmer do to that tractor? Well, Ernie Telkmeyer at Geneseo, Illinois, has sure made some improvements to this old 1938 F-20 Farmall. He upgraded it with electric start. No more hand cranking. There's a 12-volt alternator with lights on there, full-time live hydraulics, a three-point hitch, and easy access steps. Well, that's an improvement, all right. Oh, he extended the PTO on it, too. An 86-year-old, very much upgraded Farball F20 at Geneseo, Illinois. You'll find a lot of equipment maybe upgraded, maybe not changed at all. Crossing the block at Big Iron Auctions. Coming in now with his weekly report, we welcome Mark Stock.